Hi everyone, welcome to the third and final Corgi range announcement of 2022, featuring all of our new releases expected to arrive between September and December, as well as some early pre-orders of some of our new tool products that I announced back in January. That's definitely the best place to start, as I'm thrilled to say our newly tooled Supermarine Spitfire Mark IX and Ford Focus Mark III RS are now available to pre-order. Recreating a near-mythic livery flown by legendary ace Johnny Johnson, this first Spitfire release features a pair of beer barrels mounted beneath the wings and will be presented in D-Day era packaging. This is our advanced engineering sample of the model and we're expecting our first painted sample in the coming weeks. Our new Ford Focus Mark III RS recreates a nitrous blue coloured version of the car that was the first RS to arrive in the UK. This car is now held by the Ford Heritage Centre and basically, if you've ever seen a blue Ford Focus Mark III RS in the press or on TV, it's this car. It was clearly the perfect first release for this new tool. This is our early engineering sample of the model and is undergoing further revisions. Moving on to Aviation Archive releases due to arrive this side of Christmas, we have the largest drop of new products this year. Starting with our First World War collection, we have a pair of new releases. Firstly, this striking Fokker D7 that was flown by Lieutenant Kurt Monnington during the late summer of 1918. Featuring Monnington's personal skull and crossbones emblem and a colourful dazzle pattern underneath the wings, this release is due to arrive in December. We also have this distinctive Albatross D5 coming around the same time. The personal mount of German ace Otto Kissenberth, the plane features an Edelweiss emblem on the fuselage and a replica of this aircraft is operated today by the World War I Heritage Trust at the Stowmarie's Great War Aerodrome near Malden in Essex. Moving on to our Second World War aircraft, I'm pleased to debut our first German releases in the range this year. Both of these models will arrive in a brand new Aviation Archive era pack style that will feature aircraft that fought in the Mediterranean and Middle East theatre of World War II. Firstly, we have a new version of our ever-popular Messerschmitt Bf109G. Featuring the livery of German ace Werner Schroer while based out of Rhodes in early 1943, this model is actually coming into stock in the next few weeks. Our second War Under the Sun release is a much-requested desert-schemed Messerschmitt Bf110E featuring long-range fuel tanks that have never been featured on this model before. This release is also due to arrive in the next few weeks. Our Night Air War collection has another new release coming soon, with a Hawker Hurricane Mark I piloted by Ian Richard Gleed. This aircraft was a famous participant during the Battle of Britain and was later transferred to the RAF's early night fighter forces where it was overpainted in black while retaining Gleed's distinctive personalised livery elements. This one is due for release in November. We also mustn't forget our new release of the Boeing B-17G Flying Fortress that I announced in the previous range announcement for early pre-order. And now we have the final production sample in hand which I couldn't show before. This is due to arrive in October. Moving into our Cold War era collection, we have a new release of our 172 scale Hawker Siddeley Buccaneer S2B, this time completing a long running set of distinctive aircraft belonging to RAF No. 16 Squadron, the Saints. This is due for release in December. Finally, for our Aviation Archive range, we have our new tool Eurofighter Typhoon FGR4, finally due for release in December. I'm looking forward to getting this beautiful model into everyone's hands at last and we'll be showing off our final production sample very soon, as well as a brand new packaging style for the model. And for those of you who are asking in your droves for blackjack, I definitely do hear you. Moving on to Original Omnibus, we have one new release coming in the next few months, which is a companion to our last new Routemaster release. This is, in fact, the same bus, but presented in a lovely livery applied when the bus was loaned out to First West Yorkshire in 2014. This model is a Corgi website exclusive and will be available in November. As an aside to Omnibus fans, I'm aware that seems pretty thin, but we do have plenty more in the pipeline which I'll be able to talk about in our next announcement video, which will be worth waiting for. In Vanguards, we've had a great response to our pre-order announcement of the new tool Ford Cortina Mark V in May and I'm pleased to say that this new release will be with us before Christmas. This is our early pre-production sample of the vehicle, which features numerous areas for improvement, but we'll soon be receiving our final production sample, which you can guarantee we'll be showing off. That's not the only Cortina we're releasing soon though. We have a pair of Cortina Mark IVs coming in the next few months, with the first, this 2.0 Gia, in striking Hawaiian blue coming in the next few weeks. The second, a 1.6 GL in Arizona Gold, features a highly unusual tan vinyl roof and will be arriving in November. And then we also have two new releases of our ever-popular classic fast forwards coming soon as well. 
Coming first is a new Ford Capri Mark III 2.8 injection special in Paris Blue, due in October. And then, arriving in very early January, is a new Ford Escort Mark III XR3i in Stratos Silver. And finally for Vanguard's releases, something that isn't a Ford. We have a new Triumph TR5 in Signal Red coming in December. Moving on to our TV and film range, our newly tooled Triumph Scrambler 1200 from the most recent James Bond film, No Time To Die, is very nearly here and due to arrive in November. This is our painted pre-production sample, which hasn't been shown off on video before, but look out for a special update in the future, where we'll be unboxing the final product. If you've been reading our Diecast Diaries blog on the Corgi website every two weeks, you'll have seen updates on our other announced new tool products through the year, including the Spitfire T9, Harrier 2, Ford Ranger Raptor and Ford Transit Custom. And we're still hard at work on our new Wallace and Gromit items, but they haven't quite progressed to make it to a proper reveal this time. I'll be back in January with the latest updates on all of those items and more new releases, as well as announcing our new tool projects for 2023 that we've already been working on for months and I can't wait to finally be able to talk about. Make sure to follow us across our social media channels for updates and teasers, and I'll see you next year!